Welcome class. I'm going to be your substitute teacher today. You can just call me Professor Liz. I'm here for, I think, what is it, Business Statistics 305? Let me get the notes out here. No, I'm actually here for Power Morphicon Prep, episode three. It's been a while, are you sure you're still doing this? I think I'm a little overdressed for that. Well, students, if that's what we're here for, let's talk some Power Morphicon. What is up, guys? I'm Ranger Liz, and this is this is really silly for me to put all of this on. But you know what? It's Power Morphicon, and I had to look a little snazzy, you know. Maybe I'll wear that to prom. I'm not. What is up? This is Power Morphicon Prep, episode three. I know it's been a little while. I've actually recorded it twice, and both times I've had to scrap it because other things have came out, and yada yada, you don't care about that. What you're saying right now is, Liz, give me some information, and that is what I'm going to do. Here is, we're going to start off, we're going to start off, we're going to go over all the new guests that came out in July, then we're going to talk about uh, the Draken, just we got better pics of him, and his throne, so we're going to talk about that along with the convention artwork, and we have a day trip on Thursday. Austin St. John's getting his own thing. And then we're going to be talking about what is it like meeting a guest. So sit back, relax. Maybe you don't have to relax as much as I am right now, but we're going to talk about some Power Ranger news. One of the first things is, yes, we did get some guests in July. I was not expecting to get guests already in July. That's so cool, you know. Those came out, they announced, uh, like, Pauly Schreer, who did kind of already announce himself. Johnny Bosch, I cannot, re I don't even know how to spell it. Richard Brackenton Snow, I, I, look, he played Xander in Mystic Force. That, hi, hi, name's Xander. That, that's, that's my New Zealand impression. Uh, along with some of the awesome ones, there's some guests from coming over from Sentai and stuff, but, uh, Yoshirio Takahuchi, he is a veteran suit actor. He, in fact, he was the suit actor for uh, Borai, who was the Green Ranger. Basically, any original footage you were seeing of the Green Ranger uh, suit from Mighty Morphin, that was probably him. And he's still in the business. Like, right now, he is Lupin Blue's suit actor. He also was... Uh, I'm really excited to meet him. I really am. I just, I can't wait to see the suit actors. He did two of the really awesome fighting styles that I like with uh, Leo from Zhuoger. And I know that you guys are like, but I'm here for Power Rangers. He has a cool fighting style that he can do. And I'm really excited. I think I'm going to leave the tie, though. It's not, you know what? I'm going to leave the tie. It's, it's not in good shape, but... That's what it is, right? There's even more guests that have been announced, so check out the links if you want to get the full list. Uh, that was mostly the Rangers. There was definitely some Sentai guests, things from uh, Kaka Ranger and not Mega Gingaman is the other one I'm thinking about. So if you're friend, uh, a fan of the Toku stuff too, check out all the links below and get it. And yes, Austin St. John was in this guest announcement, but I'm going to talk a little bit more about him because he is a special case. So you know what, yeah, let me just talk about Austin St. John and his whole thing that's happening. He is going to be there, but he's only going to be there on Thursday. So if you would like to, you can meet him. They're going to call it the Day Zero event. If you're already, if you're going to Power Morphicon and you have a ticket, you can get in, I guess. What they're saying is uh, bring a printout of your registration info to get access to the event. It's going to be from 6 to 9 p.m. in the Huntington Room fourth floor so it will be an actual he's going to be in a room if you want to go in and meet him it's it is free you can go in and meet him if you already have a ticket he will be signing doing personal photo ops at the event he'll have an assortment of items to sell if you are looking to get something you know a little more personalized or a uh, uh, red ranger whatever however here are his autograph and photo op uh prices. <laughs> if you'd like an autograph, that is $60. If you would like a selfie, that is $60. If you get both, it's only going to set you back $100. Again, that is from 6 to 9 p.m. on Thursday if you would like to do it. There's another thing happening on Thursday, though, and that is the field trip. If you're going on the field trip, which I'm going to talk about next, but if you are going, Austin St. John is going to be at the House of Book. You can take pictures with him in front of it. So if you want to get your picture taken with, you know, Jason in front of the command center, you can do that. However, that one picture is going to set you back $100. If you want a second person in the picture with you, it'll only cost you an additional $50. If that is something you want, it's something you're going to pay for, that's 
kind of expensive. But that's, that's my own thing. That's my own thing. So the actual Thursday event itself, though, and I'm, I'm going to guess Austin St. John, and then they're going to do the House of Book early so he can get there, do his photo ops and stuff, and then get back to do it. The actual field trip itself is going to be an all day event so if you want to do it it's going to be early in the morning they are saying right now looking at about 10 a.m to 9 p.m and a lot of it just it's going to be because la traffic you know you're going to be in a tour bus looking at getting two buses uh they each hold 50 so they're gonna um there are 100 spots available if you would like to get in on this bus the tour what does it do? It takes you to the House of Book, which is uh, not normally open to the public place. Based on the one that they did, the last Power at Murphicon, uh, not just the House of Book, but they did go to some other filming locations for Power Rangers, including places like the park, the well, a lot of places in the park, but they're kind of, they're recognizable, and that's kind of neat to see. If you're interested in getting in on the trip, it's going to be $50. Right now, it is only open for platinum and gold memberships. However, if for some reason they do not sell out just based on platinum and gold memberships, they will open it up to everyone else. It's going to be a $50 fee if you would like to get on the bus tour, and I really I mean $50 for a bus tour. They're going to take care of getting you from point A to point B all day. It's going to be a long day. Uh, just some other quick details on it. They say, you know, pack a lunch. Have uh, They're not sure about cosplay, really, if there's going to be any room or any place for you to be able to do it on the schedule. So if you really want to have a cosplay that you wear at some of these things, just keep in mind, ask them, look for more details on whether or not you think that might be a good idea to take with you all day. Get registered now if you are interested in going. And when they drop you off at the end of the day, Thursday, pick up and drop off, by the way, is at the Anaheim Convention Center. They'll have your badges and everything ready for you. So if you go, have a fun day, be out and about with a bunch of other hardcore Ranger fans, get your badge, and Friday, I guess you, you beat the rush too, because I think Platinum and Gold can pick up their badges, what, like noon on Friday or so? So get them early. Get them Thursday night. Since I haven't done one of these in about two weeks, we also got pictures a little while ago for Lord Draken. We got much more in-depth pictures of him as well as the detail on the art uh, for the box, I guess I should say. So we got box details on it. They look nice. I'm glad I'm probably going to be uh, doing a review. Like, I'm planning on getting one, take it out of the box, show it off, do a review on it, and then I'm probably going to put it back. So that makes me really happy that the box itself at least looks kind of cool. If you're not wanting to keep him in the box, however, you can get a throne. That is right, hand-painted, boxed, individually numbered. You can get a replica of Lord Draken's throne. This throne itself is going to cost you about $65 if you are attending. If you are not attending, it's going to be, I think, $85 to have it shipped. Not attending international is going to cost you $100 to have it shipped. It is something that right now, pre-registration, they extended it. I think it's going to like July 20. 28th now. They did extend it if you were interested in adding this throne to your collection and getting it added on. Go ahead and do it now. Also, some of the things that you might be getting with your package or you want to order involves the print or the official convention print. That has also been announced or shown to everyone. So keep in mind, this is probably what you're going to get on a lot of official con merchandise. So take it for what it is. If you love it or you hate it, base all of your, base your, uh, your things on it because that's what it is. And that brings us to more of the general knowledge Power Morphicon prep, and that is meeting a guest. What is it like for some of you guys who have never been to a con before and you're asking me, Liz, uh, do they have things on their table? What Do you have to bring anything? What What's it like just meeting and interacting with a guest? I First time I ever met a ranger was Jason David Frank. I was kind of a stumbling idiot. I think the second one I ever met was Walter Jones. I think I said like five words to him. I just got his autograph and I was like, Th thank you. I was really awkward. So let's just pretend you walk up to uh, a booth and let's say it's Mike Jem because he's a really fun guy and, you know, he probably made something explode. So let's say you're going up to Mike Jen and you'd really like to meet him and maybe get him to sign. You have a Gold Ranger figure, you know, still in package from RPM and you want him to sign it. Fantastic. What you'll do, you go up to the table. There's usually a line of some form or maybe not. If you don't want to purchase or any uh, do anything, you can simply come up, say hi, shake their hand, meet them, talk to them for a bit. It's, I mean, I don't think there's any of the actors that you have to pay money to just meet them. You know, go up, say hi. It's 
you know, tell them what you want, and you don't have to pay anything. However, if you do want to have something autographed, yes, Rangers do charge. Perhaps there's one or two left that won't charge for anything, but this is their life. I mean, it's it's their job. They go there, you know, you pay, you get an autograph, you get a selfie. I mean, I was talking about it for like Austin St. John, his were kind of high. Do not expect to pay $100 for a selfie and an autograph for pretty much, may, maybe there's like two or three people that would uh, try to charge that. But other than that, you're going to be looking at, I would say, $40 to $50. You could probably get a selfie and an autograph from these Rangers. So go up to the booth. Let's say there's a line. So, you know, so Mike's already talking, interacting with someone. You kind of get in line. When you get up closer, there's going to be someone at the booth with him that is not him, and that is the handler. The handler's job is to make it to where your interaction with the celebrity or the guest is as smooth and not awkward <laughs> as possible. You know, I've, I've been there. It's kind of like uh, you have your wallet, and you're like, do I, do I just pay you? It's kind of it does get a little awkward, guys, and it's awkward for the guests. It's just so you have the handler there, and they're saying, "Oh, hey, you know, or what were you liking to get?" So you pick out. Well, I got my toy, and I want them to sign that. And so they say, "Okay, well, maybe it's like twenty dollars for that." And then I also want to do a selfie. Okay, so maybe that's twenty dollars for that. And but I also want an autographed eight by ten. Well, maybe they'll throw that in for for ten. And so maybe like you'll get all of it for fifty. The handler is going to take care of all the money transaction, get it all set up. Maybe you have a name that is kind of hard to spell right, so maybe they'll like jot it down on a sticky note or something. So that way when Mike is like talking, interacting with you, he can sign it and it's just, it's very flowy. You, you get to just enjoy the time that you're with the ranger and not be worrying about weird transactions or anything. Most of the actors and actresses will have 8x10s on their table. You'll be able to see, uh, I mean, maybe they'll just have one or two. Some have 13 different ones because if, I mean, like take uh, Jason David Frank, for instance. He's been in five different seasons, six if you count Super Mega Force. Of course, a lot of graph if you have any bit of merch. I have one of my favorite pieces of my collection is my Legacy Morpher autographed by all seasons, one through three Rangers that used it. It was just, you know, it's my, my one Morpher box and I just took it from person to person and have it autographed. Those are also, those are really cool autographs to sit and look back on is whenever you have the whole team uh, signed it, but you know, everybody likes their own different autographs or, or what you like. I would recommend against things like uh, proposing marriage to them. Do not try to like hug or kiss them or anything strange like that. Maybe now don't like ask them to power, or, like prom or just don't ask them anything that might make them feel super awkward and on the spot because Talking about autographs really quick, I'm gonna bring this or something like this. It is hard. You can put plastic sleeves in it and that way you can keep your autographs in it protected. They're gonna stay nice and hard and safe and not get bent on your journey. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed the Power Morphicon prep episode three. My name's Ranger Liz. I'll be seeing you at Power Morphicon. Any questions at all about things going on, leave them in the comments below or I'll find you on social media, Twitter at Ranger underscore Liz. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you at PMC. Hi! Doodles.